But the thing is with me, I'm not into just doing what everyone else has done. Yeah, no, sure. I'm not into it. It yeah. doesn't give me a buzz. It gives me no happiness. And it, and long term, for, as far as the business goes, I don't think it's going to do anything for sure. us. So what do I do? I get this kit. We, we design a, a wide body, something out of control. And let's build them. Well, welcome to a new Dave's Classic Garage Tours video. And this time we're back down on the island to meet Tim from Dirty Dog Outlaws and his builds specifically aimed at the US market. Stick around, there's a great competition at the end of this video. So no MGFs, uh, MGFs weren't sold in America, although I did actually see not too long ago, somebody posted a picture on Instagram of one driving through Boston. So obviously some <laughs> Some I think guy. because they've got the rule, uh, anything 25 years, so the 97 ones could be imported now. You're right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so you could, you, oh, could, yeah. you could pretty freely Probably import that's... one. Yeah. So we, um, we got a customer in New Jersey, Johansson, right? Absolute legend of a bloke. And he wanted one of these kits, and we said we'll do them on an MR2. And then he went and bought the wrong MR2, <laughs> which is probably a good thing. I don't know. Right. So he bought a SW30, not an SW20. Which is the later one. Yeah, this is the later one. So this is yeah. the, the Spider. And so we did a lot of work for him. Um, this, is, this is the actual um, the car that we fabricated to take his moulds off. If you've got the wheel, there's a way. But the front clip went straight on, which is good. Yeah. So the front clip, we've, we've done no modifications to at all. Yeah. And the, the, the bonnet and that, that was all fine. It's the rear that, that really changes. You can lift that if you want, or I can pull it back. That's right. So the rear is what uh, changed oh, the most. Space to, uh, play so so the, I'll, I'll give you a <clears> rundown here. So you've got, you've got a door that is 100 mil shorter on the MR2. Right, okay. And then that makes the quarter 100, meter, 100 mil longer. The wheelbase is actually the same as, a, as the MGF. Oh, right, right. Um, the track's a bit wider, but that was fine because we've got fat, uh, like a fat ass on yeah, it. Yeah. So what we had to do is lengthen this whole area here, then re, remake it, re-fiberglass it, and then, uh, get it to the point where we could take a mold off for the bloke. Okay. So I'll show you, I'll, I'll just, give me one sec. Okay. I'll show you. So Dave, being a sheet metal engineer, right, come over here. I said to him, oh, I, need a, I need to make a mold for here so we can redo, we can extend it. <laughs> He's gone and made that, right? He's a freak. So we put that on there. Like so, yeah. obviously properly, right? And yeah. then we fiberglassed it in, in place and then we, we made the, the longer car. So right. there's, a, there's more than one way to skin a cat. Yeah. And, and like when you've got someone like Davo on board, far out that, and you can see that's the, that's the extra that went into it, you know? Sure, sure. And the, the 100 comes from there. Sure. Um, so, so yeah. yeah what, so all in all, What's it take uh, hour-wise to develop further beyond the MGF to get it to to be able to uh, go into the uh, MR2? It's massive, man. Like so, I'm always uh, an optimist, and I said to Joe Handsome, who purchased the first one, I said, "We'll get it done for you. Don't stress. We'll get it. It will piece of piece." <laughs> and it, it probably took me three months more than I thought. Right. right but okay. for us. It's a win-win because we, we, uh, we, we get a customer, we make him happy, we give him a really crazy product that no one else has got in the US, yeah. and yeah. then we, we are, it opens up a market Absolutely. for us. So it's a win-win. Um, it, it has delayed his project a bit, but he's been understanding, yeah. and we've worked in together. So, sure, sure, but sure. yeah, so it's probably, I reckon to get, development is always key. So like, there's probably, I don't know, five, six hundred hours in this already. Right. Um, yeah. Yeah. And it, but but you got to. When I say five, six hundred hours, we've done all the bracketry for for his boots because that's all different. <coughs> right. We've done the brackets um, to you know the design to to suit and hold the rear on 
all the front mount bracketry, all that has to change. Yeah. That all got done. Yeah. So yeah. it's not, again, it's not just, oh, make the fiberglass and send it off to the bloke. Yeah, yeah. No, no. it's no good. Because sure. he'll get there and he'll say, I'll never be able to build this. Right, right. So, yeah, that's, so that's what we've done. So and Dave, Dave's gone back to the drawing board for all that bracketry, the bonnet, the boot, the yeah. underside. So well. you, like I, I can rip this. You can see it's completely different to the one I just showed you before. I'll just whip that off. So yeah, have a look in here. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. So this is this here is that's the the bracketry that he's had to make for the yeah. MR2. Completely different. This this is the same, obviously. That that uh -huh. angle's yeah, the same, sure. but all this bracketry had to change yeah. the way it all gets done. See, all this radiator support, uh, radiator shroud, and that—that that all comes in the kit. We make that just to finish it off a bit. Yeah. Stuff like this, right? It doesn't look like much, but that goes in uh, your door jam over here, right? That'll sit in there like that, and it actually holds the kit exactly where it's meant to be held. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and then they—that comes in the kit just so you, they can actually locate it. And now, all right, we've got this square on there. Yeah. All the yeah. brackets, you know, there's all brackets under here. They got redone. Yeah. But so is this going to go off? Uh, this will go off fully built to the customer. This one. Nah. So oh, right. so th this is just our mold. Oh right. Okay. Oh, right. The customer okay. one's already gone. Ah. Oh. So he he'll have that. He he should have that soon. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yes. Yeah, so let, let me uh, just going back. I think there's one question people are going to be asking, and it's. Uh, I haven't as yet. The big butt. Is that a necessity or a stylistic thing for, for you? Uh, yeah, it's, it's not a necessity. Uh, you, we could have had it a bit, you know, you, could, you, could, you can see how much room there is here. Yeah. There's heaps of room. Like you could, we could have taken off 100 mil, but I wanted to do something a bit more extreme. Sure. I, wanted it, I wanted it to look different. I wanted people to say, what is, is that a Porsche? Or oh, what is that? Or, you know, yeah. like... Yeah, yeah. I didn't want to just conform and just make another replica. No, I don't no, want that. And, yeah, and I think that's, you know, it, I think we've won over more than we've we've lost. Yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah, yeah. well, if you're punting out bloody 17, 18 cars in a year, crikey, yeah, that's a yeah, it's testing. Not bad, for, not bad for your first year, I'd Absolutely. say. And and it, mind you, you know, we we we've only been in here eleven months now, yeah. so we had to do a big move, set up in here. This was the worst shed in the, the whole of Phillip Island, but best position right on the main corner. Yeah. So, you know, we put a lot of work into getting in here. Yeah. Um, cool. Okay. But it's good, yeah? The, the response is good. And yeah. we, we've had it on display at the Formula One last year, um, which was really good. We got a massive response from that. And that's why we got the showroom, because people started to say, oh, we want to come to your showroom. Yeah. And I'm going, what showroom? <laughs> I can work out the garage. All but right. We're, we're here now, and... It's, it's all good. Going good. Okay, well, there's some uh, new developing behind you. Let's go and have a look at that. Okay. Okay, what have we got? All right, mate. We're, I'm going to call this the Outlaw Dingo, right? So this is our Dingo build, and you've seen what we're building yeah, here. But it's, a, it's an extreme build, very limited numbers we're building, and it's a wide body, um, something that I've always wanted to do, something hypercar style like you said it's a mix of so many different cars it does, it does, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know like there's the stance what, i said uh what did i say a pantera i can see in there i can see an f1 mclaren in there but look i mean it's a it's your interpretation it's a reimagination of a certain high-end italian car makers v6 car wasn't it yeah there the, were uh, some v6s that, uh, personally in my opinion this is so so far removed from that yeah absolutely that yeah. I should, oh, be, look, I should be fine. You should. Be, you will be fine. It's going to be. Uh, it's uh, yeah, look, just like those renderings. Uh, and yeah, and and oh we've God. we've done our own thing. I've never seen one, another one like it. So as far yeah. as I'm concerned, it's our car. Absolutely. Now I'm going to flip this for you. Show you this mold. So this is an old school mold. Gosh, this reminds me of my smell. Reminds me of being in my dad's uh, garage, building boats back in the uh, back in the seventies. So and fiberglass and whatever. We've, uh, yeah, we, we're doing obviously all this, all this here is wide body. Yeah. So there's, you've got the wide body f uh, fenders, the, the wide body quarters at the back. Yeah. Um, we've got a sail plane. We've got a uh, rear wing. 
and we've got a front splitter. So that all, that all um, will come in the kit. Obviously all your hanging panels, doors and bonnets, they come in the kit, but we're not doing a full turnkey on right. this. It's just, okay. we've got so much on, we've got, we've got a lot on with the, with the Outlaw Speedstar. Yeah. Um, it's something I wanted to do though, and the, the moulds came up, and I, I thought, all right, I can use these moulds, but I want to make them better. And that's what we're doing. Yeah. So it's not, it's not right, about... Right, okay. So this is a, a, a kit car manufacturer over here from... A, a, yeah, this, this mold's probably 30 years old. Oh, right, okay. Uh, the guy retired, and uh, I, just, I just started chatting with the guy, and he said, yeah, I'll sell it to you. Absolute gentleman. Oh, right. And, um, yeah, but the thing is with me, I'm not into just doing what everyone else has done. Yeah, not, sure. I'm not into it. It yeah. doesn't give me a buzz. It gives me no happiness. And, it, and long term, for, as far as the business goes, I don't think it's going to do anything for sure. us. So what do I do? I get this kit. We, we design a, a wide body, something out of control, and let's build them. Yeah. So what did he put underneath? What, what uh, chassis? This, and... Originally, this had a Type 3 under it. So a V-Dub Type 3. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah. But we've we got uh, one customer is putting a on a Toyota 86. Right, a new one. New one, right. yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, which is nearly a, a perfect That'd fit. That'd be awesome. Even That'd the be... windscreen rake and all of that, even the quarter windows and stuff, it's unbelievable. Wow. There, yeah, it's wow. unbelievable the way okay. it just sits on it. So and to, those Toyota 86, and what are they, the Subaru BRZs or BRZ, whatever they are. BRZ, yeah, yeah. So um, this has already got the Width extension in it from the no, 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 no. So you still so we've got all those there. bucks, all the bucks for the uh, width extension and stuff. And so, can you see here all this? Sorry, right, see okay. from here, yeah. see the, the mold comes apart. Yeah, all this is going to go bang on there and have a, as a wide body with the rear one. With the rear one in the design, you'll see at the back it's already got this curve in it, and so then the rear one is an over fender. All right. Okay. okay. So is that, everything's going on onto this. Yes. And then you'll take the mold from. Well, we're we're going to modify this mold. This right. is a good mold. Okay. There's nothing wrong with it. You can see it's made proper, yeah, yeah. like old school. Yeah? yeah. So what we'll do is we'll graft the rear. We won't graft because it's like I said. This stays, and then you've got an over fender. But the front, we'll make new guards and we'll set them in here. Okay. Gotcha, All right. gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, and they'll go in there as part of the mold and along this seam. So we'll cut along here and make a seam going up through there. Yeah. And there, and it'll just be that piece there. Awesome. awesome. And then that, that's all done. You asked before about, you know, uh, 3D printing and yeah. laser cutting and that. So that, a part like this is really cool because you can get something like that done for about, I don't know, five, six hundred bucks. Yeah. And, and then you make your mold off that yeah. um, in the 3D printing and it's exactly what you want. So, yeah. so what about you, um, is Dave going to be set to work on the, all the, the brackets and... Not on this one. No. Not on this one. Not at the moment. There's too many variances of, of what people want to put them on. Right. All right? right. So we'll help. If people say, oh, how would you do this or that? You know, we'll, we'll help with that. But at the moment, we're just doing a limited run of these kits. Yeah. And um, I guess it's a way, I want to get us uh, noticed over in the, in the States. Absolutely, so yeah. I'm throwing out a few different designs and let's see what comes back to us, you know, sure. because I, I think the vision is I wouldn't mind having people that have got a dream, but no way of, of building it. Yeah. You've got to have money behind you to do this because yeah. anyone that thinks you can build a, a custom kit car of your own design for cheap that's that doesn't happen sure. but i think our business is going the way of you want something out of control hypercar yeah and you want us to make it it was a one-off we'll do it for you yeah. so yeah. i think and that's and that's what i'm trying to show with this we're doing something completely as a one-off and let's see where it, you know let's see where it all falls Lovely. okay buddy all right well good luck to you man it's, thanks uh, been brilliant to uh finally Get to have a look around. Yeah, man. And hey, you know, that's another thing I want to do for you. Yes. All right. So all Let's of your it. followers and stuff, I'm going to do a, little, a small comp with, uh, with Dave. He's an absolute legend. He's a local and he's come past so many times and that. So what I want to do is a full merch pack. I'll give you a, a photo of it, Dave, to put up. But we're, we're going to do a comp. 
um, follow and like uh, Dirty Dog Outlaws, and uh, maybe, would we have to say Dave or something? I don't know, you can work that out. And we'll pick a random um, person that follows and likes our page, and we're gonna give you a hoodie, a hat, and a t-shirt, all sure. right? So get on board Dirty Dog Outlaws. Thanks Dave for coming down, absolute legend. No. And um, we're like, I think you could sort of get the drift guys. We're the, just the average boys. We love cars. Um, we love working together. My kids go to school, for, you know, two minutes down the road here. And we just try to build something different and have fun. So to all you car perverts, <laughs> if you if you want something different or if you just want to come down and say hello and see what we do, come down. Cheers, buddy. Thank you very Thanks, much. Thanks, mate. Thanks. Okay, so let's get those competition details nice and clear. It's June 2nd, 2024, the date of this video's upload. What you need to do to win the merch is head over to the Dirty Dog Outdoors YouTube channel via the link to one of their videos above. Like and subscribe and mention in the comments, Dave sent me. Dave sent me. In four Sundays time on June the 30th, 2024, Tim will pick a name at random from whoever has like subscribed and commented and will reply to their comment and ask you to email him. Remember, do not reply to anyone else trying to contact you in any other way. There's lots of scammers out there, so be careful. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I hope you've subscribed here on this channel as well. And for those of you wondering what's happening to the classic Range Rover out front, here's a little reward for sticking around. Now, <laughs> I've turned up and there's another two-door Range Rover. These things are popping out of uh, the woodwork all over the shop at the moment. Yeah, the two I think, doors. Um, I mean, Christ alive. There ain't many of these back in the UK, I can assure you. I think they all rotted away, didn't absolutely, they? Absolutely, absolutely. Well, this yeah. one looks like it's, uh, it's had a good life, but uh, what are you going to do with it's it? It's a bit tired. We'll just, I'm just going to clean it up and have it as my shop truck. Yeah. So we'll give it a, we'll give it a sand back and do a blow-over on it. Um, it's got a V8, uh, uh, Holden V8 in it. Nice. So, it's got to, Brooke, uh... yeah, she had a leaky car, so I just had one in the back. Oh, really? Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I used to, I used to do a lot of Commodore and uh, HSV stuff. Uh -huh. Uh huh. So I just happened to have one. But yeah, she, she starts and, and runs, which is, which is pretty cool. But I don't know. I've got, I got two young boys, so I wanted something where I could put them in the back. Yeah. But I, I wanted something, you know. I don't know, I'm, not, I'm a non-conformist, so I like, uh, yeah, it's be awesome. I like uh, different stuff. Let's see if she starts, ready? <laughs> she starts, all right. So uh, were you trimmer? Or? Yeah, the, uh, I got my, my guy, um, Jay, who does my roof linings here locally. Yeah. He's, he'll do the trim on this for me. Uh-huh. And, um, yeah, it's Is just- Is there much rot in there? No, she's not bad, man. Like, this was meant to be, the uh the parts car right. and it's more solid yeah. but if you come around the back here yeah, you can see there's a there's a little bit over in here but yeah. it's, there's not much man underneath she's rock solid but there's a little bit there yeah, yeah. and a little bit in here a little bit up to see they come through there a little bit there right but yeah. um all in all she's uh well these uh this must be a they, they always go don't they this part here oh that's I reckon this is after. Yeah, yeah, no, I think so. no, somebody's made that themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a bit of, bit of angle, nothing yeah, like, yeah. nothing like a bit of angle. Yeah, but, oh, yeah no. this is this was the old car. We I just took it off this morning. So, yeah, right. yeah, she was just pissing out fuel out of it. But yeah, that will we'll we'll play yeah. with this a little bit in my spare time. Yeah. Well, it's good to see old British cars, whether it's a uh, 90s or 70s, um, coming back to life or. I Being just reckon, like, I had an Amarok, it was a great car, probably shouldn't have got rid of it, but I did. But I just, I just think there's something in saving an old car. Absolutely. And it's got character and, I don't know, I just wanted, I wanted one, so I got one. Okay. Well, again, that's, uh, we'll do a second goodbye. Thank you very much, mate, and I'll uh, see you about. Cheers, mate. Cheers.